There is a limit to how far away from PCs normal monitors can be operated, but in an industrial environment, we frequently have the application requiring displays to be operated over long distances from the PC. For this purpose, Siemens offers the Ethernet monitor. In this video, I would like to show you just how easy the initial setup of this Ethernet monitor is. For this, I have prepared the following. One Ethernet monitor, of course, along with a somatic IPC227E. Initial setup requires connecting the Ethernet monitor via the USB display port and the Ethernet cable. For initial setup, I first begin with installation of the drivers. These can be found on the included document and driver DVD. In our example, I have already stored them on the hard drive. I open up the Explorer and start the installation with Start EXE. The setup menu is configured intuitively, and first I click on Continue. Settings for both the Ethernet monitor and the panel configuration center are already pre-selected. I also click on Continue, confirm the licensing conditions, and click again on Continue. Now the installation scope is displayed once more, and I begin with the installation by one click on Installation. The installation is completed with a system reboot. After rebooting, the panel configuration center is automatically launched. Now continue with the configuration of the Ethernet monitor. To do so, I click on First Time Installation. A fixed IP address is initially assigned to the PC. As well as to the Ethernet monitor. After configuration is complete, I can shut down the system. After the system has been shut down, I unplug the USB and the display port connection and switch on the device again. During startup, the Ethernet monitor now connects to its corresponding PC. After the system has rebooted, the video and touch functionality is handled solely via Ethernet. If you would like to change the IP address of the system, you can do this in the panel configuration center. Click again on the category IFP ETH. Here all the settings are displayed for you and you can make modifications. Please note that the display port cable must be connected and it is necessary to first assign a new IP address to the Ethernet monitor and then to the IPC. This enables you to integrate an Ethernet monitor into an existing system network at any time.